And you remember her telling you that? Well, it all came rushing back to me, hearing her describe what Adam put her through. And we just had a few minutes together before Dr. Taylor showed up. Mm -hmm. Is that the first time you met Dr. Taylor? Yeah, he examined her. He made it seem like everything was perfectly normal, that her pregnancy was fine. But now looking back on it, every concern that I brought up, he had an answer for. Well, he and Adam did not want anyone else to examine her. Victor, I'm so sorry. As much as I had prayed for Sharon and Nicholas, uh, for a miracle, I certainly didn't want you and Ashley to lose your child. Yeah. This is true. I've lost two children. wreck how are you doing it just feels good to be outside you know and breathe clear my head a little bit you are hopeful though aren't you yeah i'm hopeful also a little scared and i really really want to kill adam I mean, Phyllis walked in with that letter from Taylor, right? Where is Phyllis? Oh, oh, well, um, I gave her the keys to my car, so she's probably home. She left? It's gonna be all right. Mm, you don't know that. You're right, I don't know that. But it took a lot of guts for you to show Nick that letter. Oh, yeah, yeah, I have guts. Hey. You could have destroyed it. Nobody would have known better. I almost did. Oh, I almost did. After you dropped me off, I walked around outside the cabin, trying to get up the nerve to go in and devastate Ashley. Possibly blow apart my own marriage. I had a lighter to that letter. I was two centimeters away from destroying the only possible evidence that would prove Nick and Sharon's baby is still alive. And what stopped you? You. Yeah. <laughs> Shut up. Yeah, yeah hey. you did. You stopped me. <laughs> huh. She told me if I didn't show Nick, the letter, I'm no better than Adam, so you did it. Oh. Mm. Mm. Sorry if I was a bit harsh. You weren't harsh. You were a friend. You were telling the truth. Hmm. Huh. What happens now? Well, the way I see it, you have two options. A, you can let things unfold and trust in what you and Nick have, the commitment you have now. Or B, you could let this whole ugly situation torpedo your marriage. Now, I'm just thinking option A, it, you know, it's a hunch. <sighs> God help me, Michael. God help me. Part of me was relieved when I knew that that baby was dead. I hated to see it go through that, but I was relieved. I was glad that 
that I didn't have to see Nick and Sharon share yet another bond. And I just kept on digging for information on Adam. All the evidence I uncovered just... Well, this showed me my, my greatest nightmare realized, didn't it? Hmm. You had no way of knowing that. I just had to show Adam for who he was, you know? I just had to do it. I just wanted to find a smoking gun. I just had to do it. And now the gun is just pointed right at me. Hey, baby. Mommy's here. Here I come. Okay, I want you to all go home now. A lot of things were said, some very difficult things to believe. We're going to have to do some further investigation to make our final decisions. I don't know what decisions you're talking about. Well, him for one. You're exactly right, but there's nothing more that can be done tonight. Agreed. Well, I guess I'm going to, um, I'm going to get a room in town. I don't think staying with Ashley is an option. Oh, Sharon, you're more than welcome to stay with Victor and me until all this gets sorted out. Thank you so much. That's really kind. We need to talk. Nick, my head is spinning. I oh, mine too. Our little girl may have been in our lives all this time. It hardly seems real. Look, we're gonna find out what we need to find out as fast as possible, all right? Your faith is ours. If any of you need anything, I'll be up pretty late tonight, so feel free to call. Sure, Ashley gets home safely. What about Princess here? We'll deal with him. Some kind of card game. Yeah, Michael's keeping his company. Good, I appreciate that. Well, that's an early day tomorrow. Munchkin, you take it easy. I still say you cheat like your mother. <laughs> oh, I'm not a cheater. Hmm, I'm gonna leave my cell on. <laughs> Thank you for everything. Mm -hmm. All right, night night. Night, Michael. Night. Michael. You, young lady, it is way past your bedtime. Upstairs, brush your teeth. I'm going to be up there to inspect and put on your jammies. Quick. Quick like a bunny. Go, 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 go. I'll time you. Sorry, uh, it's looking all over for you. Vic said you had left already. Yeah. I wanted to spend some time with Samurai. I also felt that you were needed elsewhere. Look, I know uh, giving that letter was probably really tough for you. Well, Summer is going to be thrilled to have a little sister. I don't think we should say anything until we're 100% sure. Absolutely not.
You know what, I'm gonna call my mom and see if maybe she'll watch Summer tonight. Great. She'd like that. Okay, I'll call her. I'll pack her back. Hysterical pregnancy, or pseudosiesis, is a condition in which a woman becomes convinced she is pregnant to the degree that she actually exhibits physical symptoms brought on by hormonal changes sufficient to provoke abdominal bloating and spasms simulating fetal movement. Symptoms can be convincing enough to fool even experienced medical providers. The underlying cause can be purely hormonal, mental, emotional, or both. As unbelievable as it is, it, it is possible. Ashley's baby is mine. Hi, my sweet baby. Hi, my sweet baby girl. Billy. Even if I did fall down the stairs, it doesn't mean I lost the baby. So sad. She's mine. This is my baby girl. She just is. Did you do it? Yeah, all taken care of. Rafe and Heather were here. They. They saw everything. You guys aren't going to get away with this. Are you listening to me? Let's go. Get up. I'm not going anywhere with you guys. Are you out of your mind or what? Are you out of your mind? 